LAPD's hottest police chases, live on tape. Visit our new website at www.lapdtv.com. You are about to see some of the most exciting, heart-pounding police pursuits ever caught on videotape. Nothing is staged. Everything you see is real. This is police work at its most intense level. Now you too can become part of the action. Okay, When the last police chase is over, continue watching for an exciting first time offer from LAPD, Life on the Beat. Okay, he's gonna TC, he's TC. There's only uh, two hours left. If it's been like the first half, it's gonna continue to be busy. After dropping off suspects at the Foothill Station, Officer Chris Zagiri and Probationer Carolyn Vollen are back on patrol. Okay. There's no comments. They spot a pickup truck being driven erratically. Okay, here we go. 16X6, we're in pursuit of a white Chevy. Southbound 3rd Street. Southbound 3rd Street from Grand. In the city of San Fernando, do it on this one. Roger. 16X6, we're in the city of San Fernando. Clear. 16X6, we're eastbound Jesse from 3rd. You're doing a good job, just relax, partner. Take a deep breath. 16X6, southbound 4th Street. In the alley. 16X6, we're in the alley from 4th Street going eastbound. Still in the city of San Fernando. 16X6, we're still in the city of San Fernando. We're approaching, we're now approaching Glen Oaks. 16X6, we're now approaching Glen Oaks. Southbound. 16X6, we're southbound 5th Street. I've got it. Okay. What street is this? Okay. Six. Arroyo. 16X6, we're eastbound Arroyo from 5th Street. Approaching Glen Oaks. We're in foot. Six, there's a code four. We're at Glen Oaks and Arroyo, just east of uh, Glen Oaks. Correction, just west of Glen Oaks. So why'd you run from the police? I didn't see that police. You didn't see the police with the siren and lights on right behind you? I seen it. And why did you pull over? I wanted to go home. You wanted to go home instead. Yeah. You don't have any warrants or anything? Yeah, I got some warrants. You got warrants for what? Open containers. Open containers, that's yeah. all? Yeah. Any other reason why you didn't stop? No. Would you have been drinking too? Yeah, I've been drinking. It's gonna be a stolen, you guys. Shattered inside over here. Play comes back to a Dotson. We observed a vehicle with a uh, smashed out passenger window, blacked out, and it failed to stop for a red light. We followed the vehicle to run its uh, license plate for auto status. It failed to stop for another stop sign. Uh, we continued to follow it and uh, felt that we had enough for a uh, traffic violation or a traffic stop. We activated our red lights and sirens and the vehicle evaded officers or attempted to at least. The truck proved to be stolen. The suspect was charged with grand theft auto, punishable by up to three years in a state prison. He is in custody waiting for a court appearance. While air support officer Norman Robinson and tactical flight officer Deborah Kickbush prepare for takeoff, they receive a report that a high-speed pursuit is underway nearby involving the California Highway Patrol. Uh, 
suspect rounds the corner, he comes under the observation of black and white units of the LAPD. was charged with felony reckless evading, resisting arrest, and driving with a suspended license, punishable by up to four and a half years incarceration. Oops. 88 Honda, right? Yeah. Which way do they go? They go straight. They didn't turn right, did they? They went down that way. Go left, go left. I don't think so. I think it was only That's them right there. That's them. Go, 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 go. 2841, we're following code 37 vehicle. Northbound Kimor from 6, Chris, and back up an airship. A code 37 is a stolen vehicle. 
Rampart Division officers John Wolf and Steve Norcus will attempt to get the driver to stop. Go, 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 go. Requesting a backup and a air unit. 41, we're in pursuit northbound Alexandra from 5th. East South 4th. Eastbound on 4th from Alexandra. It's an 88 Honda Civic. Two male occupants. Put the sirens on. Cut. Clear right, clear right. Northbound, eastbound 4th Street from Alexandria. Go, 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 go. 231. What are you doing? Hurry up. Which way? Right. You want right, damn it. We're gonna take three, 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 three. What street was that? Council? New Hampshire. They, yeah, they went on South Street and also in the Rampart. 41, we lost the uh, vehicle in the area of Council in New Hampshire, last seen. Eastbound on Council. It's a uh, 88 Honda Gray. Four door Civic. X11 is involved in the TC requesting a T car and the supervisor respond, Council and Berendo. Council and Berendo. Hey, uh, units in the pursuit. We got the vehicle here. At, uh, we're here at uh, Council and Berendo. X41, uh, what do you think of perimeter? 41. Are you requesting a perimeter? Do you have suspect description? Airship, you on? Air 3, go. As, as you drove, as you drove by, sus the citizen steps out in the street and points down the street. Right. I go to swerve to miss him. I end up here, and as I come here, here's, here's the G-ride up against the curb. Guy bails out and takes off. I don't, I didn't even get to see the guy. Where's he running? I, I didn't see. I was up in the front yard. You see the guy? The suspect's running northbound. Oh, Some other citizens thought they saw him running southbound. Building. 2653 on that uh, 211 North New Hampshire. Uh, we're going to get a team to go and uh, search that location. You got the team? Roger. Okay, yeah, it's going to be uh, to the rear, right? All right. That's on the right. Watch your crossfire. Okay, right now. We'll see you. Okay. Let's go. Watch it, 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 I guess another unit pulled up and they found the car and some citizens informed them that the suspect was running southbound. But uh, I guess what happened was one of them ran southbound and then the driver ran northbound. So, uh, so we got the driver, got a little bit of cuts and everything, but uh, at least we got him. Uh, going over that fence, uh, we had this guy thrown out and uh, I got caught up on the barbed wire along with about uh, four other officers. So, sacrifice the pants for, for the body. The suspect pled guilty to driving without the owner's consent. He was sentenced to 120 days in the county jail and 24 months of probation. Officers Jerry Ballesteros and Dave Garland of Hollenbeck Division joined the pursuit of a suspected stolen vehicle. Well, Hollenbeck is in pursuit of a possible Code 37 vehicle. They're northbound on the Harbor Freeway right now. Suspect number two, front passenger of the vehicle, male Hispanic, wearing a blue baseball cap. They're close enough to see the Question is, here's the last suspect number is the driver, male Hispanic, shaved head with a mustache. Number two is male Hispanic with blue baseball cap. The suspect speeds along the freeway that runs through downtown Los Angeles and right past Parker Center, the headquarters of the LAPD. You got a left-hand exit on the five. Right? Yeah. The suspect vehicle careens carelessly through city streets. Near an intersection, the van suddenly appears headed in the opposite direction.
The van veers into a residential area, but can't escape the glare of the airship and the night sun searchlight. Looking for a good place to bail a canine around? Relax. Relax. Ain't going nowhere. Come on, broadcast. Excuse me, somebody. Parallel this thing. Oh! 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 It's nearly useless to attempt an escape on foot. Even if they do manage to elude the officers in the searchlight, the heat-seeking flare of the airship will still manage to track them down. in the area that were paralleling the pursuit and to uh, get up a quick perimeter. All three suspects were taken into custody in just a matter of a couple minutes. Uh, nobody's hurt. All coppers are okay. No cars crashed. Everybody's going home uh, safe tonight. The suspects were charged with grand theft auto and felony reckless evading police, punishable by a total of six years in a state prison. While working patrol in 77th Division, officers attempt to stop a motorist who's trying to avoid arrest. He's going right there. There he goes, right there, right there, right there. All right, go, go, go. Okay, we're in it. Okay, we got a, we got a southeast unit that's in pursuit of a... Uh, a vehicle failing to yield, and apparently they observed them tossing several items, possibly of narcotics, out the window. Went all the way up to Rampart Division, and now we're back heading towards, uh, looks like towards, we're going through Wilshire Division right now. We've got several units involved now, probably because of uh, officer safety concern. Going right back to the hood. It is uh, LAPD still primary. Vehicle 1, it looks like it's a newer, 
newer model Chevy Impala Super Sport, probably a 96, 97. It looks like one male uh, occupant driving. You got it. Stay, 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 stay. He's trying to back up. He's trying to ram him. Now we're coming down towards Pacific area. We're just outside of 77th Division. We're all over the city with this one. You're going to be coming up probably to La Brea up here. Now we're looking. Full tank of gas, right on. It's going northbound Green Valley. He's stuck in here. Watch him, watch him. As the officers converge on the suspect's car, the driver is ordered out and told to lay face down on the pavement. Quit resisting, less handcuffed. I'm not resisting. Yeah, you are. While the suspect is handcuffed, his car is searched for any weapons and illegal drugs. You got all kinds of crumbs in here, rock cocaine crumbs. Underneath the seat. You guys just be careful. We want to collect all this we can. Let's see if there's a gat in here or something like that. This here is all the rock we recovered from inside the vehicle. Um, most of it is crumbs because he threw most of it out the window. That's usually what happens in these scenarios. When you start chasing the car, the guy's got a gun or dope or something on him. They start chucking out the window. And then after a long period of time, then they'll stop. <laughs> Believing that we probably won't be able to go back and get the evidence, or by the time we do go back, or someone hasn't recovered it already, it's gone. So in this situation, luck was not with him. We got residue from inside the vehicle. We got some of the stuff that he threw out the window. We finally pulled into a parking lot, and here he came to us. Said, "Hey, I've had enough," and we said, "Okay, now it's time to go to jail." Let's go, guys. Come on. The suspect was convicted of possession of a controlled substance and sentenced to 16 months in a state prison. While working patrol out of Van Nuys Division, officers John Constable and Natalie Ostry observe a motorist dangerously weaving in and out of his lane. It comes back clean, but they're lane straddling. Are we in pursuit or following? You want me to pursue it now? Uh, yeah, let's do possible code 37. Okay. 9Z6, we are southbound 101 freeway, following a, a vehicle failing to yield. We're approaching Barham Boulevard. Z6, it's a white uh, Z28. I've been requesting a backup. And an airship. Vehicle was lane straddling, and now uh, they're refusing to yield. 9Z6, show us in pursuit. We're southbound 101 freeway, approaching Highland Avenue. There's uh, three male Hispanic. Z6, we're exiting Hollywood Boulevard from the southbound 101 freeway. Do we have an ETA for our airship, sir? We're eastbound 10, correction, eastbound Hollywood, passing Van Ness. Z6, do you show us in pursuit, sir? Boulevard. Oh, no. 
Sunset Boulevard and Harvard Street. The suspect realizes his chance of escaping is zero. Finally, he pulls into a mini mall and surrenders to the pursuing officers. Let me see your hands. Driver, step out of the car. Walk backwards with your hands on your head. Walk back towards me. Stop. Step to your right. Step to your right. Keep going. Step to your right. Stop. Now lay down on your face. Passenger, keep your hands on your head. Crawl over to the driver's side of the vehicle and exit the vehicle. Step to your right. Keep going. Go to the right of your buddy and lay down just like him. Towards me. Stop. Go to your right. Go to your right. Keep going. Walk over those guys. And... Now lay down just like them. You guys got these guys here? Okay. John, you got someone to clear with you? No, I think. Can you guys clear the car? I got two hours to my left. They're gonna clear there the might car. be somebody else in there. There might be a fourth. Is clear. Okay, can you guys cuff him up and I'll cover you? Well, you were lane straddling on the freeway. That's all. the only reason I lit you up. Follow me since Van Nuys. We were trying to run your car. Yeah. Couldn't find nothing. Computer was down. He said he ran because he has five outstanding warrants. It was a failure to yield, and then they just took off. It became a pursuit. And then they pulled in here. You were on the freeway when they took off? Yeah. That's when we lit them up, was on the freeway. Everything went down really well. Nobody got hurt, and that's the way we like it to be. The passengers were questioned and released. The suspect pled no contest to reckless evading police. He received 90 days in jail and 24 months of summary probation. Remember, after the last chase, continue watching for an exciting first-time offer from the LAPD, Life on the Beat Store. The final preparation for pilot Daniel Johnson and tactical flight officer J.T. Alpa of the LAPD's air support unit prior to taking to the air. It doesn't take long before they're called on to assist a ground unit in pursuit of a car. Air 1513, D3, roger. Air 11 has one minute, 30 seconds. EP, your location. Static point, southbound, smaller. Virtual following, I'm not sure what the vehicle is wanted for, but... Devontree units are following a uh, possible uh, suspect vehicle. Air 11's over the pursuit. Okay, pick it up a little bit, Dan. Vehicle's approaching Tester. The left pedal. T45, we're secondary behind the pursuit unit. It's getting a little behind us, Dan. Static point passing Noble. Unit is now eastbound, static point passing Noble. Cross traffic, guys. Cross traffic. Unit, unit secondary. Come on, left. You're stepping southbound. Control is now southbound, Kester. Left and left. Southbound, Noble, passing, Cohasset. Okay, uh, continuing northbound. Cohasset. They're northbound. We're north, northbound. No. Cross traffic, cross traffic, cross traffic, guys. Cross traffic. Okay, back down, northbound, Noble. Continuing back uh, eastbound, Santa Coy. Eastbound, Static Coy from Noble. Unit is now eastbound, Static Coy from Noble. Verify your boat. Do you have the air unit take over the pursuit? Okay, continue eastbound, passing Kester. Air unit take over pursuit. Uh, you, you guys are going to have to call the small ones. We'll continue eastbound, Kester, approaching Van Nuys. Unit is now eastbound, Kester. Unit is now eastbound, Kester, approaching Van Nuys. Uh, coming up on Van Nuys. Watch your cross traffic. That's great, thank you. Cross traffic Van Nuys. Vehicle's continuing southbound Van Nuys from South Point. We're about to cross Van Nuys westbound. You guys are okay on cross traffic for the primary and secondary only. The unit advises crossing Van Nuys from Sherman. Continuing uh, westbound Sherman Way. Unit westbound Sherman Way. 
Westbound Sherman Way approaching uh, Kester. They're picking it up a little bit here. Okay. Get away from us. Got a black and white up here, code six block. Okay, go. Okay. okay, they're getting away from us, Dan. Okay. okay. All units on all frequencies continue to stand by 1399 is in pursuit of a vehicle failing to yield the 1960. Continue westbound through Kester approaching Sepulveda. It's westbound, Sherman Way approaching Sepulveda. Right now, the suspect's uh, wanted for failure to yield a possible stolen vehicle. That hasn't been confirmed yet, but he's driving across traffic. Watch cross traffic, guys, cross traffic. Thanks. No problem. Vehicle's uh, smoking pretty bad there. Yeah, hopefully. How are we doing on fuel? We're fine. We got about 20.2%. Eastbound, Benoit, Cross traffic coming up. Okay. Any cross traffic, guys? Right. Passing, that's black and white. Okay, uh, guys, continue eastbound through Van Nuys. Watch. Clear, you're clear. Come on. The giant did a 411 and RD884. I thought he was going to turn. Still eastbound, Benoit through Van Nuys. Units eastbound, Benoit from Van Nuys. Covella from Hazeltine. Westbound Covella from Hazeltine. Direction westbound Covella from Hazeltine. 734, continue westbound and then turn northbound on your next block or two and then come northbound. Seven, yeah, right right turn there, 734, come northbound. Yeah, I think he's on fire. Yeah. Vehicles up. Uh, uh, error 11, why don't request the fire department? Vehicles on fire. What's the uh, suspect description here? Hold there, 734. Units are code 6, uh, stand by. Perfect description. 734, hold right there. 1799, your code 6 location. Suspect description. And control, stand by. They're toning the suspect down now. Stand by one second. And if you can start the fire department, please. That control uh, looks to be a code 4 suspect is in custody. All units code 4 suspect in custody. Great job. Excellent. All units code 4, uh, 13 3 West Pico. Suspect number 2, Custody, and we transport back to Devonshire Station. We just arrived. 9, 17 3 West Pico. Yeah, we're down to 20%. Okay, we're out of here. Okay. Yeah, 734, thanks a lot for deploying there, partner. We appreciate it. No problem. Good job, guys. We'll talk to you later. Air 11 is clear. It was a good pursuit. Uh, officers uh, maintained their cool. Uh, we, we had all the streets in the areas called off. Everybody, uh, everybody knew the part they were playing, and uh, it resulted in uh, a suspect being arrested. The suspect faces multiple charges, including possession of cocaine and reckless evading police, punishable by a total of seven years incarceration. An LAPD response to a fellow officer's call for assistance. It's another high-speed pursuit of a motorist who refuses to stop and instead chooses to put at risk the lives of innocent civilians and cops. Oh, no, there's somebody's in pursuit. Um, I'm not, I think it's a code 37 vehicle, we're not sure. Yeah, you get a primary unit in pursuit and there's a secondary unit. In pursuit of a uh, white utility truck. The back's cut off. With the back cut off. Okay. It's possibly a stolen vehicle. You got a black mic on this one. Hi, TC. I think I'm black and white, TC. TC, police jargon for traffic collision. The fleeing motorist is so determined to escape, he streaks through red lights. Code 6. Last time we got, we got the units at Lindley and Chase, but Unknown. we don't know what's going on this time because there's no, uh, there's no, no, broadcast. There's no broadcast transmission. It might be in full pursuit. Air units are over the pursuit. Air units right there. Okay. Control 16. Eastbound, eastbound along the tracks. Eastbound along the tracks. Yep. Okay, you may be coming southbound here. Stand by. Watch out for the black and white. Okay, this is Louise. Okay, 
Primary, a request by the supervisor riding alone in the lead car to be replaced by the two officers following him. What he's going to do, he's trying to, he's trying to. Accelerator to stay down so that he can bail out. Southbound Haven Hurst, you got it. into a foot pursuit as the suspect leaps from the truck and runs through the maze of yards. Unit that was here. So if stuff came oh. out, uh, Southbound had these uh, houses. I can't even saw the officer here pulling himself on the ground, gave himself up. That's a little better. Thank you. He's taking a custody that incident. One. The other one is. All right, we'll, we'll take care of him. In, we'll take care of him in the car. He's gonna order alcohol on his breath, so he's been drinking. Yeah, I've been drinking. I'll tell you right yes. now, I've been. No. I'm not gonna lie to you. The airship attracted him, running southbound through the houses, and uh, my partner and I were, were falling into southbound through the houses, but uh, he didn't have all the gear on that we have and got a little bit of a lead on us. And then uh, Johnny Ray and his partner took him into custody for that incident. Okay, at any time when he came around the corner, when did he lose the tire? Uh, he lost the tire. Well, it was this turn? No, it was the one before. It was. So he was already on Havenhurst. He had already lost it. He's driving on the road. In fact, we even broadcasted at one point. Oh, okay. uh, he lost the tire. No problem. Thank you, gentlemen. You bet. And then uh, Sergeant Larry was uh, obviously primary. primary and flagging us as a two-man black and white to take over the pursuit. Yeah, we, did. We, we couldn't even hear the cheer. As, uh, and then we, we, heard the we heard the airship broadcast. We let the, air let the airship keep broadcasting. Yeah. So because we saw this guy keep going in and out of the car, we don't know if he's reaching for a weapon or what he was doing. Now, about how fast? So was he like going 20? For a while, he was 30. doing just 10 miles an hour. And then he, all of a sudden, he got his gear and moving, and he started, he just bolted. Yeah. At one point, uh, we got stopped at a red light, and he blew it. And the air unit was saying, cross traffic, cross traffic. I didn't think at that point, he went up to about 50, yeah, 50 miles an hour, and he got, he got a good ways ahead of us. But even, you know, the beat up Ford, we still caught him. Yeah, what about use of force? Oh, no. As soon as he came southbound to the, to 
the houses. Apparently he put himself out for uh, Johnny Ray and Mooch, give up, huh? which they took him to custody. Yeah. And he admitted having, uh, he's been caught for DUI <laughs> yeah. many times, uh, and that's why he, and that's why he I've had too much to drink tonight. Yeah, if you want, you can loosen up your necktie if you're getting too hot with that dust on your stuff. I'm going to keel over. Okay, good job. All right, sir. All right. All well then as well, I guess. Excellent. Good. Good caper for me. Yeah. The suspect was convicted of felony evading and sentenced to three years in state prison. He's serving a concurrent term for driving under the influence. Tactical Flight Officer Brent Jones and Pilot Lou Peak of the LAPD's Air Support Unit get the final briefing prior to taking to the air. As the black and white ground units pursue the two racing motorists, it's the presence of the airship that keeps the vehicles from turning down a side street and disappearing into the darkness. Any Devonshire in the area southbound Wilbur coming up on Nordoff for two vehicles at a high rate of speed. Uh, they're going eastbound. They're going yeah. eastbound. Okay, they're eastbound Nordoff from Reseda. Eastbound Nordoff from Reseda. That's a white two-door. Uh, looks like a, like about a Honda. Still eastbound north off, coming up to a... Yeah, still eastbound north off from Lindley. It's a white oak. And it'll be coming up on a white oak. Which one is he? Oh, okay, the next one's going to be Louise. They are eastbound north off from Lindley. Well, what's your attitude like? 
flight, guys. We estimated her at about 80 miles an hour, blowing, uh, she blew at least three red lights and blew two uh, stop signs. She kind of slowed down a little bit and just blew them. And uh, she wasn't being chased by anybody. Yeah, it looks like we got a uh, DUI here. We got some uh, motor units here to put her on the pass machine. Uh, you know what, just uh, while we all stay on the emergency trigger, we're going to go get the streets. We'll come right back. Give us just a couple seconds. We will come back. Roger. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm all for cutting people some slack, but that's a little bit excessive for me. Uh, you know, a lot of these pretty women, they get out and cry, and then the next thing you know, the cops are letting them go. So. Well, and then they wipe out my family, you know, yeah. or, or hit you and I on the way home from work, you know. Yeah, do. Yeah, just because I'm, uh, just because she's pretty doesn't mean I'm any less dead. Okay, we were southbound Wilbur. Okay, thanks a lot. I think that's all we're going to need on 07. Okay, guys, thanks a lot for the, uh, the quick response. We appreciate you guys scooping in on her. Uh, tell her just because she doesn't see a black and white, that doesn't mean she's going to get away with it. The woman was charged with driving under the influence, punishable by up to six months in the county jail. Officers Randy Goins and John Campos leave the Southeast Station as they begin their patrol duties. Tonight, they are on the alert for stolen cars. 29, we're following stolen vehicle, eastbound 100. Okay, right now, this blue car in front of us is going to be stolen. Um, it's got three occupants. Uh, we just put the broadcast out. We're trying to wait till another unit gets here to help us out with the stop. And we also requested the uh, helicopter to give us a hand in case we go in pursuit of this car. 18829, we're southbound Alameda at Fernwood Avenue. In the city of Linwood. In the city of Linwood. Uh, you know, I can see a couple of police cars coming behind us. There's heavy traffic, so they're going to have a tough time getting here. So we're just going to hang out. Um, they're getting close. Okay, here it comes. Oh, God. Try to lose them. Approaching Imperial. 18849, we're now northbound Alameda. We're in pursuit. We're in pursuit. 18849, we're now in pursuit. Westbound. Well, westbound Imperial, uh, Imperial from Alameda. Westbound Imperial passing Croesus. 18849, westbound Imperial passing Croesus. Approaching, approaching Wilmington. 18849, we're now on Willowbrook northbound from Imperial. Okay, when they bail out, we're going to get the driver. Northbound Wilmington. 18849, we're northbound Wilmington, approaching 112. They TA'd at 112 in Wilmington. Suspects TA'd at 112 in Wilmington. Continuing we're now continuing pursuit northbound on Wilmington, about 110. You're approaching Santa. 1849, we're now northbound Wilmington, approaching Santa Ana. That's in Santa Ana. 1849, northbound Wilmington, approaching 103rd. 1849, we're now west, eastbound 103rd from Wilmington. Okay, passing Hickory. They're going to go south on Cruises. 1849, we're posted. 103rd in Cruises. Stop the car! Stop the car! Juniper from 103rd. 18849, we're southbound on Juniper past 105th. Oh, daddy, this is a triple E ticket. 18849, still southbound on Juniper past 107th. 18829, we're now eastbound 108th, passing Kalmaya. 18829, we're eastbound 108th, passing Mona. You're approaching Alameda. 18829, we're now southbound Alameda, approaching Imperial. This will spin out here quick. 18849, 18, we're now eastbound on Fernwood, approaching Imperial. Lorraine. Eastbound Imperial. 18829, we're now eastbound Imperial, Imperial from Fernwood. 18849, we're still eastbound Imperial, passing Long Beach Boulevard. Airship, she's about ready to lose, lose this left rear tire. Let's get the tires gone. 18849, we're still eastbound Imperial. We're now going northbound from Imperial on Martin Luther King Boulevard. Heavy coat set. 18849, we're coat 
six, Martin Luther King and Norton. Get out of the crowd! Put the sirens on! Get on the pit! Get on the ground right there! Get on the ground right there! Get on the ground! Get on the ground now! Okay, right front passenger! Get over here! Get, get, get on the ground right now! Get on the ground! Get your hands out to your sides with your palms up! Get your hands out to your sides! Can you have an available unit respond to 112 in Wilmington? There's going to be a uh, victim of a TC. You might want to request an RA unit. Um, it's going to be a white car, two door. Uh, I believe one female black occupant. And there's also going to be another TA over on uh, Croesus and 103. What are you doing? I don't want to go to town, man. Okay, right now we got a couple units going uh, to check the locations where the car crashed at. We're going to see if there's uh, any people still there. And at that point, we're going to have all these girls go to the station. We're going to sort this out. We're going we're gonna to impound this car. It's being a recovered vehicle now at this point. We'll go back and uh, interview these girls and write the arrest report. In this pursuit, there was a... Uh, Two traffic accidents involved. Uh, one was involved in another vehicle, which appeared to be somewhat minor. I don't think there's any injuries. Another was when uh, she she hit the curb, went over the curb, up the guide wire, and the car slid back down. But for the most part, this is pretty much a uh, a good pursuit because uh, there was no injuries on our part. The citizens are the suspects that we're pursuing, and uh, our job is to make sure that we catch them as safely as possible. And, you know, today we did. The passengers were released. The driver pled guilty to misdemeanor driving without the owner's consent and evading arrest. She is serving 60 days in the county jail. LAPD's hottest police chases, live on tape. Visit our new website at www.lapdtv.com. LAPD gear now available from our Life on the Beat store. Remember to call the toll-free number at the bottom of your screen. Patrol the streets in your 100% heavyweight cotton LAPD Life on the Beat t-shirt. Boldly emblazoned with the LAPD logo on the left chest. Medium, large, extra large, and extra, extra large. Also available from the LAPD store, our authentic Life on the Beat badge logo t-shirt. Medium, large, extra large, and extra, extra large. Stay in shape for those unexpected pursuits. Premium nine and three quarter ounce cotton crew neck sweatshirt, adorned with your choice of embroidered or printed LAPD logo. Medium, large, extra large, and extra, extra large. And also available are matching sweatpants. These sweats proudly sport the LAPD logo printed down the left leg. Medium, large, extra large, and extra, extra large. Available only in ash. Our LAPD Life on the Beat Diver Style Sports Watch comes in black with the logo on the face. And our unique Zippo cigarette lighter features our trademark badge logo. It's available in black or silver. Also, this LAPD Maglite keychain flashlight is small enough to fit comfortably in your pocket. AAA batteries are included. Perfect for those long cold nights. Our Letterman jacket has a wool quilted body with quality leather sleeves and trim. With the LAPD TV badge logo strikingly embroidered on the left chest. Available in black, in medium, large and extra large. Celebrate the comfort of our 100% cotton polo. Uniquely embroidered with the official LAPD TV badge or logo. Available in black or white in medium, large, extra large, and extra, extra large. Our wool blend baseball hat is adjustable with the embroidered LAPD logo in front. Also, the official LAPD Life on the Beat mug available in cobalt blue with the LAPD TV metallic badge logo. Our ever popular long sleeve Henley with badge or the LAPD logo elegantly embroidered over the heart. It's 100% heavyweight cotton, hem sleeves with a generous cut. Available in large, extra large, and extra, extra large. Pack up your exercise gear in our large 24 by 12 by 11 heavy duty gym bag with durable handles, adjustable shoulder strap, and center lid double zipper. Available in navy with the LAPD Life on the Beat logo embroidered on the front pocket. 
Our tank top is 100% heavyweight cotton with silk screen badge or LAPD logo. It's available in black or white, medium, large, extra large, and extra extra large. Classic denim shirts are a favorite of off-duty cops. Beautifully embroidered with the LAPD logo over the left chest pocket of this 100% premium cotton shirt. Available in medium, large, extra large, and extra extra large. Make an unforgettable statement on those cool nights in your 100% cotton full-cut long-sleeve t-shirt. Black with the LAPD logo printed on the left chest and life on the beat down the left sleeve. Available in medium, large, and extra large. As seen earlier, don't forget our Letterman jacket. Perfect for those long, cold nights. Available in medium, large, and extra large. Also available from the LAPD store. We have a possible 211 in progress at the Bank of America. War in the streets. The North Hollywood shootout video. LAPD officers battle for their lives against bank robbers ready for war. Only $14.95. His automatic fire, it was constant. 